Hello, my fellow dweebs, and welcome back to my Amphibia Reaction Series. We are on episodes 13 and 14. These episodes are called, ooh, Dating Season. And Anne versus the Wild. Why do I feel like we had an episode title that was super similar to that? Turns out I was thinking of the first episode, which is called Anne or Beast which is not really that similar, so I don't, <laughs> I don't really know where I was going with that. Anyway, let's get watching. This place is full of nature. Woohoo! Yeah, exactly. I'm with you, Anne. You are really not selling me on this place. <laughs> oh no, it's in ambush! <laughs> Oh, this is a new character. And me, Ivy. Childhood acquaintance and occasional sparring partner. Wait, they're so cute. Well, well, well. She's kind of cute, huh? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Well, 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 well. <laughs> weird, Anne. I am Anne. Anne is me. Anne, <laughs> it's not like that. Ivy Sundu and I are just friends. <laughs> Ivy Sundu. Nobody move! I'm getting the courtship kit. Only frogs who have performed the ceremonial dance in the ceremonial garb are allowed to be wed. Oh my god, huh. this is kind of scary. I'm already engaged to Maddie, right? She gave me this nifty <laughs> ring. <laughs> Forget her. Maddie, that's right. They agreed to a date. What do you want? Oh, your tip. All right, here you go. Don't take too much, though. I have chores to do later. Stop this struggling. Is just a little more. Alrighty, cool. My boy, you look incredible. <laughs> he looks uh, like a I disaster. don't know about this. Ivy's gonna think I look stupid. Mom! Ooh. All oh, right, boy, go get before. that lucrative business relationship. Is she the well, I mean, romantic that, um, relationship. Shop for girl time? <laughs> In which case, if their family has so much money, why is she a waitress? Papadia Planter says, Sprig. Don't mess this up for us. And Felicia Sundu would like Ivy to have a great courtship. Wink. It says wink here. Love, Mom. All right, then. <laughs> Hit it, boys. <laughs> After you, friend. Why, thank you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, they're much better friends, honestly. The little love doves are sneaking off into the woods. Counterpoint. Why don't we just leave them alone? <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, I'm way too invested right now. Polly is the only sane one of the group, honestly. Wow. Oh, that's probably my favorite shot in the show so far. That was beautiful. This'll be your grave! That's, uh, that's pretty dark. <laughs> What's that? <Huh? laughs> What's that? <gasps> They're beautiful. Yeah. Look at them. They spend that life massacring all living things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> We're stuck. Uh, so they're not gonna eat us? Not right away. This episode is so chaotic. I'm I'm not 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 it's all your fault. <laughs> Say what? No, oh so. my gosh, look at the skeletons in the background, you guys. <laughs> wow, Whoa. I feel lighter somehow. More free. Hey! <laughs> here to rescue you! Take that, you beautiful creature! <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh. Nice ambush! Now you and I can go back to being just friends. Yep! Oh, you just fell in love with her, didn't you? Yeah, I just fell in love with her. <laughs> Okay, something that I do love about this show is the fact that Anne is a human, Sprig is a frog. There is no chance of romantic encounter between the two of them. At least, <laughs> I wouldn't think so. But I like that because so rarely in shows am I unable to ship <laughs> the two main characters. And I kind of love that. I think Anne and Sprig's platonic relationship is part of what makes this show so special. And seeing Anne play wing woman for Sprig is very cute. I like this crush that he has on Ivy. I like that I am able to ship someone in this show now. And Ivy seems like a very cool character just 
on her own. I like her tough, adventurous attitude. And I think that's a very cute contrast with Sprig's sort of gentle ways. <laughs> I mean, we've seen Sprig be tough too whenever he's encountered certain beasts, whenever he's out and about with Anne, but my mind just keeps going back to... <laughs> I think it was the episode with Bessie or where Bessie was first introduced and he, there was some sort of bug that he was holding on his finger and he was kicking his <laughs> feet back and forth. And that is just, that is Sprig to me in my mind. And so seeing that Ivy sort of brings out this more warrior-like side to him is pretty fun and also makes me wonder if she could be a beneficial asset at some point in the show like if Anne ever does find out that her friends are in amphibia as well and they go over the mountains to find them maybe ivy could be a good person to have on the team if they ever venture out question for the comment section this was something that was addressed earlier in the episode sprig was talking about how he loves being out in nature and not so much I would love to know if you guys like camping or not. I am a one night camper. You can get me out in nature. I will enjoy the heck out of myself for a night. Then after that, you gotta get me back to civilization. <laughs> I need a shower, I need a proper bathroom. Glamping, I can do for longer, but just straight up camping, one night. That's all you get out of me. Oh, speaking of which, let's watch Anne versus the Wild. Oh yeah! Mm. Man, I can't wait to See, try that baby out. That is my bread and butter. Gonna rub it outdoors and get filthy! This is wait, so funny me? that I just sure was talking we about camping. Camp, we camp hard. No sense in <laughs> you coming with us and being miserable. You know you hate dirt, bugs, rocks. All right, kid, hop on! Woo woo! <gasps> Bessie, hi, Boo Boo! We gotta lather you up with this gunk. Only way to keep the ticks away. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm already yeah. out. Yeah. And back around. Oh, looks like I missed a spot. <laughs> totally not regretting this. The voice actor that does Sprig has the best comedic timing, and he's quite young from what I saw on IMDb anyway, but I'm very impressed with him. A frog can really hear themselves think out here. Did you leave the stove on? The front door unlocked? <laughs> Will you die alone? <laughs> well, that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Oh. <laughs> Come on, kid. Throw some water. Get some water. <laughs> Just randomly catches fire. <laughs> There are way too many spiders in this show for me. Ow! Careful! Oh! I'm pretty sure those ticks cause internal damage. Take Bessie and go home. And don't you worry about us, because we'll be just fine without you. Without you. Without you. Without you. <laughs> no! Look, I know it seems like I'm miserable, okay? But I'm not. <laughs> I can take you folks to a real campsite. Buckets that were hanging in the water meant to represent like poly corpses. Want to hear a tale? Mm, I'm good. Hi, Pat, <laughs> old man. Oh, me. I love scary stories. Born in the bowels of the bog itself, the mud creatures stalk the inky night. The mud men only fear two things daylight and being clean. Holy <laughs> honey thistle! What? What is it, Joe? Nature calls. Be right back. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. ah! Ah! Don't worry. Good thing I brought my copper matches. It's the Mud Men! Heck no! Oh, I think... Are they in the intro? Have we seen them before? <gasps> I have something even better. Oh, that's right. Everyone, take Her cover. Bath bomb. Peony Princess Bath Bomb. <laughs> Goodbye, dear friend. <laughs> ah, the jig is up, boys. 
Awesome. You really are used to extreme camping. <sighs> guys, I have a confession. Mm. I really like you guys and wanted to be with you. Miserable or not. That's so sweet. I don't know if it's the sweet-smelling oh. toxins <laughs> or the overwhelming emotions, but dang it, I'm a mess. Next time, we'll <laughs> include you, Anne. Even if we know you'll hate it. Sprig, a frog after my own heart. Good thing I wore my axe-proof vest, eh? So, what'd I miss? <sighs> oh, pretty much everything. Really? Oh, Joe, there were these crazy cannibals. <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> now that we've been through a lot, there's something I'd like to share with you. This is how I got here. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. Never seen anything like it. Well, <laughs> it was worth a shot. Really? <gasps> it's yeah. just as I feared. <gasps> All right. So, Calamity Box has a slightly less than safe ring to it. Let me see if it says anything else specific. Destroyed, beware. Oh, does it destroy frogs? Is that a frog skeleton? I'm wondering if it's a specific frog that was destroyed or if this box is some sort of omen that like all of amphibia kind could be destroyed. <gasps> it is getting good, y'all. All right, so kind of hard to talk about or focus on anything else because that's that's pretty huge, but I do have to say that I thought it was so sweet in this episode that Anne valued her time with Sprig, Hoplop, and Polly more than her own comfort and her own alone time that she could have had at the house to do the things that she maybe normally would have wanted to do for me time. And I just hope that if Anne does find a way back home, she's still able to come and visit Amphibia and the planters. It would make me so sad to think that her going home means severing that relationship that she's built with them. But I'm very excited to see where the show goes from here. I'm wondering if we're getting a little bit more into plot related episodes, slightly less episodic. I mean, I'm still fully enjoying the more fillery slice of life episodes. I won't be mad if that continues for the rest of the season, but it is exciting to get a little sprinkle of perhaps what is to come. As always, my fellow dweebs, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel for new reactions every week. And if you would like access to full length reactions, early release to my videos, and a whole bunch of other fun stuff, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Alicia Dweeb. And I will see you dweebs later.